they've just unfortunately not meant to be tonight. Uh, what are your thoughts on the performance? I thought it was a, a good performance. We started well and um, I think we're the better team. I think everyone could see we're the better team, but the way they play, they're effective and they got the one chance and they took it. And unfortunately, it was just, it wasn't meant to be our night, but I think we've got to take pride in, in the way we passed the ball and moved it. We didn't resort to anything else and um, it just, just wasn't meant to be. I think, unfortunately, the, the group was perhaps lost a little bit earlier in the campaign with too many draws, uh, put a bit of pressure on tonight, but it's been a good campaign, but obviously everyone's just devastated. You mentioned taking pride in things. You've obviously got to take pride in the fact that you were in the position in the first place, you know, to be yeah. in contention after what you said was maybe a difficult middle to the campaign to exactly. recover the way you have. I think if you look after the Serbia game, I think not many people would have put us with a chance of winning the group in the last game, but we rallied well, won three games on the bounce, three clean sheets, and put ourselves in a great position. And it was just, it was set up to be an incredible night, wasn't it? It's the, probably the best atmosphere I've ever seen inside a stadium before, for the game. I've been to rugby games, I've been to football games and, and that is the most passionate, the noisiest, the, the most energy I felt inside a stadium and I'm just devastated that the boys couldn't get, get what they deserved and, and the fans couldn't get what they deserved as well. And where do, where do you go next from here now? So there's no tournament to prepare for in the summer. Do you just rebuild and try some new things in the friendlies or do you just keep doing what you're doing? I think, it's, I think everything's up in the air. It's, it's still very, very raw. and. Um, it's going to be it's going to be difficult to to get ourselves up from this. But you look at the the young boys who are coming through now. It's um, maybe two years ago you couldn't quite see where the next team was coming from, if you like. But you see Ben Woodburn, you see Brooksy and Ethan Ampadu. It's the future's bright, and if you can start blooding them in now, it's it's going to be um, a lot more occasions like this, a lot more to play for. I think the the days of us not competing in a group are long gone. I really think that the future's looking good for us.